Well, you don't have to visit a haunted house for a good scare this Halloween. Did you know a local Toledo restaurant is allegedly haunted? Ida Tedesco <laughs> visited the spaghetti warehouse with Toledo's first ever ghost behaviorist. And maybe we should start there. What is a ghost behaviorist? A ghost behaviorist is really exactly what it sounds like. Someone who studies the behavior of ghosts and believes they exist. Well, I went with one to the Spaghetti Warehouse downtown, which some say is haunted. Don't be fooled by all the spooky decorations, because the real scare sometimes can't even be seen. Um, there's a lot of people that have seen things here. People have seen shadows and people, and there's, there's a lot of stories with the people that have been here for a long time and have worked here. Like Roger Green, an employee of the Spaghetti Warehouse for almost 20 years. In that time, Green has experienced lots of paranormal activity. One particular event, though, will stick with him forever. When I was a server, there was a lady going to the bathroom downstairs, and she came upstairs with her pants halfway up and said that she's seen the guy with the mustache. And the man with the mustache isn't the only thing that scared the literal pants off managers and servers over the years. Still need convincing? Well, that's where Chris Boris, Toledo's first ever ghost behaviorist, comes into play. Not only did he come prepared with some pretty cool ghost hunting gadgets. You don't have to be scared of me. I'm here to help, I'm here for you. But he depends on much more to make contact with the spirits. I've been ghost hunting for probably about 15 years now, uh, but it wasn't until 2012 that I started implementing psychology and Eastern philosophy into my ghost hunting methods. And when I did that, I pretty much hit the ground running. So what'd we find? Well, as far as the dining room, specifically what's rumored to be the most haunted table in the place, we got nothing. But things took a turn when we entered the basement boiler room. Can you, um... Tell me what, with this device in my hand, can you tell me what this place was used for? And after a moment of waiting for a response. Eat, nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> we then made our way to the attic. Yeah, I'm getting a solid reading all over the place up here. Where whoever we were talking to seemed to respond a little better to one particular person in the room. Do you like having Ida around here? Huh. Oh, <laughs> you, had to, you had to think about it for a little bit, didn't you? Well, but does all this really mean it's haunted? Well, you could always come see for yourself if you dare. I'm Ida Tedesco, WTOL 11. All right, now when that story started and Ida was walking towards the camera, it looked to me like she was gliding. Now nobody else noticed it, but. Wow, well the ghosts like her, so maybe she's got a special connection there. <laughs> she's our scare correspondent Fascinating all of a stuff there. <laughs>